Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got turquoise and yellow and it was requested by Gina Rose. I've already got my base coat down and dry and I'll be using this L'Oreal polish and it is called Not a Cloud in Sight. It is an oldie. This one had some dust on that bottle. So we're going to use this one today. And when Gina requested this, I knew exactly which polish I was looking for when I went to my collection. To me, this is just like the perfect turquoise color. Hello, Woody. Already here to visit, I see. Mm -hmm. There he is. All right, that's the first coat. And now we're going to apply a second coat of Not a Cloud in Sight. It's a beautiful polish. It's got an excellent formula. It's a perfect two-coater. Love it. And here we go. We are going to apply some Pure Ice Girl on the Run top coat. This next posh, this is one of my favorite top coats. It's, um, you know, one of those really nice, nice treats that you can find in Walmart. Or I, that's the only place I've ever seen it's Walmart. For look, just a little less than $2 a bottle. Excellent deal. It's a good, glossy, fast drying, beautiful, shiny top coat. And I love it. Here we go, heading on to some stamping. I'll be using this Geometry Plate from Born Pretty and this Crayola Sally Henson polish called Dandelion. My Clear Jelly Scraper and my little rectangular clear stamper. And this is not a stamping polish, it's a regular polish and I did a little testing before I did this manicure and this one showed up really nice over this color. So this, you know, turquoise base that I've got on and it was the winner today. So sometimes the stamping polishes win and sometimes regular polishes win. Here we go. We're going to stamp this image on my pointer finger. And then we're going to stamp the same image on my middle finger now also. Um, I am going to do something different on my ring finger. It's going to match my thumb. I'm using a little piece of tape just to get any of that excess off. So, you know, some of it I don't want on my nail or my fingers. So, we're just going to peel that off with some tape real quick. And I'm not the best at lining up images like centered down my nail. You know, practice makes perfect. Maybe one day I'll get there. <laughs> And this is the full image that I'm putting on my ring finger. It's got a lot of um, space where the stamp polish is going to cover up my base polish. But it's got those flowers that I thought would be really nice because it'll let that base color peek through. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we're going to put this um, other skinnier design on my pinky nail. This is a new plate that I got off of AliExpress. It's not a new plate, but it's new to me, so I just couldn't wait to play with it. Peeled that blue stuff off and just got to playing. There we go. Ta-da! We have stamped up. Here we go. We're going to get this excess off of my ring finger with some tape. It's coming up pretty well. I'm still going to have to go in and do some more cleanup, but not near as much. Ta-da! Alright, here we go. We're going to go in with that cleanup brush and some acetone and just clean up around that area a little bit better. I'm always, you know, a ninny about this, and I say this all the time. It's, you know, I've got to get it cleaned up. Here we go. I'm going to apply some posh top coat over these nails and seal this stamping design in. I just really liked how it turned out. I needed this pop of color, you know. I do like me some, you know, bright, bright nails sometimes. There we go. So this is my finished manicure. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this look. And here is my swatch photo. And that is it. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.